Hey, I mean, just it, it was good for us just to be able to get up and, and run up and down and, and uh, you know, play against somebody as we try to get our legs back. We took a, a decent amount of time off uh, after Christmas, probably as much as I ever have uh, with the group. So uh, it was just good to, to get, get everybody in. We got some good contributions from those guys who haven't got many minutes, so that, that, that's a real positive. No, nah, he did Eftons. We, that's kind of what we've been asking him to do, and and when he does, you know, what we ask him to do, he can be pretty effective. So uh, I'm hoping. I, I mean, obviously those aren't, you know, Division One athletes and and or Division One size, but at least he was in the right place and delivering and doing. And he did some nice things defensively, as did Dom. Dom came in, and so that's good. That's good. We can keep growing that piece, hopefully. How important is it in a game like this to get guys like Hey Colby, guys who put in the work? Run it's good, and the way this preseasons went, we just have not had the luxury of <laughs> of getting guys minutes. You know, all these games have been tough and tight, and you know when we've had maybe a little bit of a cushion, the other teams closed it, you know, and made it a little bit dicey. So it's nice to reward those guys. They've been they've been great uh, practice players, and we start talking about Abe and and Colby, and, and then obviously for us moving forward, it's important. You know, I think we can begin to, you know, count on Efton more and more, we hope, and then and also on Dom. As you kind of, you know, turn the page to, to conference play, where do you think the team has made the biggest strides, uh, you know, from the beginning of the year to now? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, probably taking care of the ball. I mean, we probably had two or three too many tonight, but, I mean, from where we were earlier, I'd say taking care of the ball. Coach, after this long stretch, you enter conference play um, at 11 and 3. Just kind of uh, after going through this gauntlet, just your overall thoughts on. on no, I, I told them. I thought I'm really proud of them. They they really really held up well. I mean, this has been far and away the toughest uh, schedule, I and mean, we've played some tough ones over the years. But this one, the way they stacked up and where they were and who they were, and um, and, and especially with us, you know, probably not. You know, being as loaded or strong as some of our other teams that might have played something like uh, like this. So they did they did really really well. I mean, obviously we wish that last minute against uh, Baylor back, you know, where he gave up a couple threes and didn't get uh, a good look at the at the basket at the end. But uh, other than that, I mean, they held up uh, uh, really well, especially you know walking off the floor against Texas or walking off the floor against Purdue. I mean, it was it was looking. It wasn't looking great as we were uh, progressing through that schedule. So now we wipe that slate clean. We start off over in league, and it's going to be, you know, league's going to be really, really competitive. And if we don't play well, we'll get beat in league. You know, we're going to have to play good every game. We, we don't have the luxury maybe we've had some of the other years. Would you do this again, again with the schedule like the, just the quality at the different locations or? No, nah, I mean, I, I think we just, the timing of it and, the you know, just loading up and loading up and loading up, I think we could have spaced them out a little bit better. And Pepperdine, good young team coming in here on Saturday. Uh, they're not really young. They're Those are the same guys that all played heavy minutes last year, um, super talented, um, and they've done a great job recruiting down there, and, and they got really, really good players. And like I said, they played heavy minutes last year with big roles, and uh, it's a scary team. So we're going to have to – we'll have to play well. Were there any uh, travel issues getting guys back the last few days? Well, uh, yeah, started. a couple guys coming from the East Coast were late, and Dom got stuck. And so, uh, yeah, we had some guys that had to really fight to get back here. Time for one more. Good way to get back in this game. That's some good things. Well, thank God we finally took care of a team we're supposed to like that. I mean, um, tired of you know playing uh, barn burner with NIU, Kent, and um, Montana. Like it was nice to for all of us to play good, and then especially have this dude finally <laughs> just turn it on and do what we see every day. So it was great. Uh, I think it's a good confidence builder going into a tough WCC schedule this year. After you, uh, you outscored Eastern Oregon in the second half, uh, 16 points. So Jesus. What does it do for your confidence to be able to have a game like this? Man, it's just a standard, man. Just go out there and do my job every day. I just go out there and ask them to do what – ask. I do what they tell me to when I go out there. <laughs> Low tongue tie right now. My lips dry. But, yeah, just do my job, basically. 
you had some, some migraines in the last game that kept you from uh, coming back. Is yeah. that something that you deal, deal with throughout the year? I mean, no, it's not, it's not really a thing I deal with. It's just like every now and then, you know, it's just got to deal with it. You know, nobody's perfect. Kevin passing Kevin Pangos fifth all time, just your thoughts on that moving up the, the history books again. Yeah, that was crazy, and uh, I didn't even, I'd even know that I was that high up. And um, he was a hell of a player. And just to be in a uh, top five in Gonzaga history with all the players that have come through is pretty freaking sweet. So uh, it's kind of surreal. It's something that uh, I won't really. It's cool, but it's something I really won't be able to appreciate. I feel like till I'm gone. So uh, it's quite the ordeal. We just witnessed history. That's that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. Drew, what's the uh, what's the deal with the uh, the celebration for Efton? How did that start? I'm gonna let Efton handle that one. That's his that's his thing. So like, I was watching the Stephen Adams highlight, and he dunked on somebody crazy, and he just went down the court like this, and we just, I just did it one day in practice, and everybody started doing it. So it's just like you know something to pick us up and just have fun with it. Yeah. Do you guys uh, think of Don Harris off the bench, uh, five assists, five five foot points, and uh, just another guy that. that hasn't had opportunities, but kind of made the most of this one. Well, I mean, we see that every day in practice, man. He, he's a great, great assist guy, and he can score the ball at a tremendous clip, too. So, I mean, it's just happy to see him go out there and do it. Efton, how was your travel back with, with Rozier? Did you guys get way late on Man, that? we flew into Denver and we missed the flight because our flight got pushed back like four times. So we landed in Denver, and then we went to the gate. The plane was gone. So we were like, we got to stay in Denver. So, yeah, it was kind of crazy seeing everybody there. It was Pack like crazy, man. Do you have crazy. to rebook then? Yeah, yeah, we had to rebook. We had to stay the night in Denver and then fly back the next day. And then we came straight here and practiced. Yeah. Drew, uh, Drew I mean, you got through this you know, really difficult portion of the schedule. Just where do you think you are and the team is feeling mentally, physically going into the WCC play? Um, I will say that break that we got was huge. Um, I think. <clears throat> Just with how hard our schedule's been, how much we've been traveling, everyone's a little fed up with each other, you know, kind of like a family, just a little agitated easily. But, uh, man, that, that break was great. And I feel like for everyone, it was just a good mental and physical reset and um, just feel this new, like, vibrant energy. I think we showed that tonight, just how energetic we were and just happy we were. And I think that was huge because uh, schedules – Schedule's a, a tough one, so uh, just being able to kind of reset and refresh your mind and refocus was huge for us. So uh, we were really appreciative of Coach for giving us so much time at home to spend with our families. Your starting league play with Pepperdine, the team you saw last year, they had those two good sophomores, a good well-rounded team. Just your thoughts on them and what you saw from them last year and what can we expect on Saturday? Yeah, they got a lot of talent over there. Um, I think they got some transfers too, and um, – those guys can get hot quick in a hurry, and uh, that's something that we don't want to entertain <laughs> or deal with because uh, they're talented enough to just win games with uh, how hot they can get. So hopefully we can D them up and um, make those guys uncomfortable because they got they got some really good players over there. How different is how different is conference than the gauntlet you just ran through? How different is the style of play maybe and, and getting up for it? Uh, I definitely would say. Uh, Non-conference is a bit easier because a lot of the times, like, there's not as much film and uh, it's harder to prepare for, for guys individually when you're more looking at a team as a whole. And then when you get into conference play, you see everyone twice. You have a bunch of film and, and guys really know what you like to do when they, they have specific plans for you or maybe, like, we have general plans for a couple teams. But, like, against every team, like, we have specific plans and things that we do. So, and, and like they do to us. So I think just really like locking in on your fundamentals and really just being being sound and staying true to who you are is really important because they're going to take things away because there is so much film on us this year. So it's just kind of one of those things like it gets a little bit harder in that regard. What do you expect in conference? You, the <laughs> SEC and now? Man, I don't know what to expect, honestly. <laughs> I was just, just hearing what he had to say. I mean, the SEC is just a whole other different animal, honestly. I just don't know what to do, you know. I'm going to go in, go, go in the conference with an open mindset and just, you know, play play my game. After what, what's been your transition like from starting every game for a tournament team last year in the SEC to mm -hmm. kind of having to wait your turn here and how, how patient have you had to be through the last couple of months to Man. get opportunities? I, did, I wasn't used to it. I had, to, I had to really just take a step back and see it from a different perspective because, you know, last year I started every game. 
So it's kind of been like, dang, like I started every game last year and now I just, I don't get the chance to even play. So it's just me just staying level-headed and working on my game every day like I do. Go in the weight room, lift, work out, do my shots, and it's just staying consistent with it. That's what I do. I mean, it's a standard for me, so. Time for two more. Okay, get anything good Christmas? No, nah, not really. Yeah, I'm just yeah. grateful, yeah. <laughs> my new hair, yeah. But, like, I'm grateful, honestly, yeah. I mean, I got some stuff, but, you know, it's necessity. So I don't know about this guy. I got some clothes. I love that. Uh, <laughs> six, eight years ago, I would have hated getting clothes, but now I love them. So uh, anytime you get free clothing is the best.